Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's reading. This is Transitions Daily for January 16, read by Craig M. from Denny, Scotland. A thoughts for the day. Reminder. We constantly remind ourselves we are no longer running the show, humbly saying to ourselves many times each day, Thy will be done. We are then in much less of excitement, fear, anger, worry, self-pity or foolish decisions. We become much more efficient. We do not tire so easily, for we are not burning up energy foolishly as we did when we were trying to arrange life to suit ourselves. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 87-88 Thought to Consider It works. It really does. Acronyms FIT Faith, Intuition and Trust Just for today How From Physician Heal Thyself What is this power that A possesses? This curative power? I don't know what it is. I suppose the doctor might say, this is psychosomatic medicine. I suppose the psychiatrist might say, this is benevolent interpersonal relations. I suppose others would say, this is group psychotherapy. To me, it is God. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 308. Daily Reflections. Hitting Bottom. Why all this insistence that every A must hit bottom first? The answer is that few people would sincerely try to participate in the AA program unless they have hit bottom. For practicing AA's remaining 11 steps means the adoption of attitudes and actions that almost no alcoholic who is still drinking can dream of taking. From 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 24. Hitting bottom opened my mind and I became willing to try something different. What I tried was AA. My new life in the fellowship was a little like learning how to ride a bike for the first time. AA became my training wheels and my supporting hand. It's not that I wanted to help so much at the time. I simply did not want to hurt like that again. My desire to avoid hitting bottom again was more powerful than my desire to drink. In the beginning, that was what kept me sober. But after a while, I found myself working the steps to the best of my ability. I soon realised that my attitudes and actions were changing, if ever so slightly. One day at a time, I became comfortable with myself and others, and my hurting started to heal. Thank God for the training wheels and supporting hand that I choose to call Alcoholics Anonymous. As Bill sees it, never again. Most people feel more secure on the 24-hour basis than they do in the resolution that they will never drink again. Most of them have broken too many resolutions. It's really a matter of personal choice. Every A has the privilege of interpreting the program as he likes. Personally, I take the attitude that I intend never to drink again. This is somewhat different from saying, I will never drink again. The latter attitude sometimes gets people in trouble because it is undertaken on a personal basis to do what we alcoholics could never do. It is too much of an act of will and leaves too little room for the idea that God will release us from the drink obsession provided we follow the AA program. It's from a letter in 1949. Big Book Quote A body badly burned by alcohol does not often recover overnight, nor do twisted thinking and depression vanish in a twinkling. We are convinced that a spiritual mode of living is the most powerful healing restorative. Alcoholics Anonymous, The Family Afterwards, page 133. 24 hours a day. A thought for the day. The AA program is more a way of building a new life than just a way of getting over drinking. Because in AA, we don't just stop drinking. We did that plenty of times in the old days when we went on the wagon. And, of course, we always started to drink again because we were only waiting for the time when we could fall off. Once we've gotten sober through the AA program, we start going uphill. In our drinking days, we were going downhill, getting worse and worse. We either go down or up. Am I going uphill, getting better and better? Meditation for the day. I will try to obey God's will day in and day out, in the wilderness plains as well as in the mountain tops of experience. It's in the daily striving that perseverance counts. I believe that God is Lord of little things, the divine controller of little happenings. I will persevere in this new way of life. I know that nothing in the day is too small to be part of God's scheme. 
Prayer for the day. I pray that the little stones that I put into the mosaic of my life may make it a worthwhile pattern. I pray that I may persevere and so find harmony and beauty. That's from Hazeldean Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. This is Transitions Daily. My name's Craig and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.